To be honest with you, these are the two scariest eBay glitches I have personally ever seen on the platform. These two could cost you your business if eBay doesn't do the right thing when they happen. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to address two of the glitches that are going on right this minute that are still happening to us as well as other folks that eBay still doesn't seem to be able to fix. One just happened to us the other day, which is a newer one. I finally found somebody else who it happened to. eBay had pulled three of our items down and they removed them. This is a while ago. As you can see here, this is the email where they pulled them down. You can see when they were pulled down. Well, the other day, I'm going through and doing my end in sell similar. I do that constantly. I do it twice a week. I'm doing their usual routine. I'll do that. I would start my, my uh, sales, run through those on eBay. And I noticed that there's three items that wouldn't relist. My numbers weren't matching. And instead of 200 at a time, it came up 197. And I look and I see those same three items that eBay pulled, said they pulled them down, they were in policy violation, still listed. Still listed telling me though that I can't relist them because uh, there was a policy violation with them. They were still active. Not only were they still active, but once I realized that I was now able to end them, I was able to end them. And then you can see right here that the date that it shows they ended is in the future. It says they ended in the beginning of March instead of February, which is when I ended it. You know, it's not even March right now. So again, there's some issue here with this glitch where these items weren't ended when eBay said they were. They didn't show up in my account the day that eBay showed that they were ended originally. So they should have been gone at some point. They popped back up into my store. Nothing that I can see that I have anything to, to do with again because they were in violation. These aren't different listings. When this happened, I had four other listings of the exact same item, but those had dates Prior to 1940, the ones eBay pulled just said the word vintage. That's the only difference between those. So I pulled the other four so eBay couldn't come back and say, well, look, we told you, blah, blah, blah. You didn't pull them down. I pulled them down, deleted them, pulled them from my inventory and the whole works. You can see it right here in this screenshot. You can see the date on it. It's still February. The items weren't ended even though eBay said they were. They originally were. They reappeared in my account. eBay has personally sent me a notice stating that they have accidentally relisted my items and doubled the quantity in the past, so I don't know if that's what's happening with these as well. Here's the letter from eBay admitting that they've doubled my listings and that they would fix them, double the quantities. But again, I'm the one who had to go in and fix them because they were unable to, couldn't, whatever the case may be. Now that's a scary one to me because eBay could come back and say, well, you know, we told you once these are different ones or they're not going to stand by me or I won't be able to talk to a real person. It'll be AI or whatever the case may be. And I'll never be able to prove my point that no, I didn't relist the items. They were the same items you stated that you removed, but yet here they are once again. I don't have any way to relist something when eBay, you know, pulls it. It's blocked off at the ended listing section with no physical way for you to do anything. It's all grayed out. You can't touch it. You can't touch any of the radio buttons, click any of those you know, empty radio boxes or anything else like that whatsoever. So there's nothing that I could do to get those listings back up. I didn't have any new listings. They were completely deleted. Once we ended them, they were all deleted and gone. You know, there's nothing back in there. I didn't have any stored. I don't do any any um, pre-done ones. I don't do anything like that because they tend to get lost and it's just ended being a waste of time. So again, this is something that I would seriously think about, worry about, double check throughout the time frame. If eBay pulled senior items, I would go back in and make sure that they didn't get relisted by eBay and that they're now active again because you don't want to get dinged twice for the same items that eBay pulled from you and then that they relisted. That's what basically happened in my case. From every account I can see, I can't see any other way it could have happened because we didn't do it. Now the other glitch here is when you sell an item, quantity one, sold one, eBay is still telling you that the item's still available. It's happened quite often. Right here is a screenshot. You can see one sold, quantity of one still remains. There was only one quantity to begin with. It's not a two quantity thing. Again, unless it's one that eBay has doubled the quantity of, which it doesn't appear to be the case. 
it says it's still available. There was only one, it was a single item. We actually went through and sorted through any that said quantity of two or whatever the case may be and double checked all of our multi-quantity listings. All like 979 listings that we had up that had multiple quantity to make sure that when eBay said they fixed it, that they fixed it, they didn't, but you know, we, we double checked it ourselves. So again, the item sold to somebody, he expects it's his. It's still up for sale at this point for whatever reason, but on his end, he can still see that it's sold and he can still pay for it at that price that you accepted it for, and then it'll show up as sold on your page. Now I've had it where two people were interested in the same item. I had offers from both and I countered both people. Well, I accepted it for one and the other person still was able to accept it. Even though it was a one quantity item because eBay didn't physically sell it to the first person. I do not have uh, immediate payment required set on those listings. So for me anyway, it should have nothing to do with requiring somebody to pay for an item or anything else like that because it's turned off in both places. There are two places that you turn that off and turn that on at. You know, both places it is turned off. It shouldn't be an option anywhere on my, my uh, store. 30, almost 40,000 listings, it's not on, on any of those listings. I don't use that option. Those are two things that you need to worry about. I know they're still working on the, the store quantity. It's different than when, when you go to look at the listings. It's different when they're showing you the store view. It's different from what it shows on your cell phone versus what it shows on the platform itself as well. And that's another, it's issue three. But that one, if someone's searching your store for specific items, at least they're able to see the items only when they search for those specific items. Now, from some of the folks that I've talked to and personally have seen screenshots from, it's been going on several of these glitches for a long time. The store quantity, item quantity differences and variances has been going on for at least a year and a half, I would say, because we reported it, geez, at least that long ago. Because it used to happen to us. I haven't seen it in a long time, but that was something we had happened to us over a year ago. The accepting the offer and it's still showing as it's up for sale, that's been going on for probably three or four months. Now the policy violation pull down listing still showing up. I don't know how long that's been going on. This is the first time it's happened to us. Maybe somebody else out there saw the very same thing where you personally had to end it. You know, always it shows you they pull them down. You know, I, you shouldn't have to worry if eBay tells you they're pulling it down. It sh didn't show up when I actually went through to search for the items and pull all the items down as well. So as far as I could see, the items weren't active in my store. They had to be reactivated by eBay. Again, maybe it's the glitch from the email they, sh they sent me saying that they duplicated my quantities or doubled quantities. So who knows? Either way, these are things that in my opinion are fairly scary because they could all affect your business if it's deemed any way at all your fault and eBay doesn't take responsibility for what they're doing to, to people like us and everybody else out there who this happens to as well. You know, that's just the facts of the matter. We haven't done anything to violate the rules in these aspects. They were things that have been up for years in some cases. You know, I can't control eBay auto listing something that I don't have the ability to list either. So hopefully that's helpful. I get a lot of folks asking, have I seen this? Is it them? You know, is it something going on? Well, hopefully that at least relieves some of that for some of you. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Discovered. 
Secret Sam fires bullets from inside the case. Secret Sam has barrel extension. Special missile sends message to your partner. Mission accomplished. You hand over real photograph. Secret Sam with periscope, message missile, rifle stock, barrel extension, even shoots through this carrying case. And this real camera that works in secretly or out takes real photos. Secret Sam. Secret.